what's the best way to deal with persons in support of abortion who are hostile towards the pro-life stance? Okay. Um, yeah, well, there one, and I think it's important to understand that there's no, um, there's no magic bullet. So if you're talking about a friend or a family member that you really want to dialogue with, there's nothing, there's no magic bullet that's going to all of a sudden bring them over to your side. But I would say, um, what's the best way to deal with a person in support of abortion who's hostile to you? questions? I always go with questions because you kind of, when you, when you start asking the questions about the people from the people that are, that are hostile, you kind of put them at ease, ask them the Colombo questions. You know, why, what exactly is it that you, that you believe, or you say, if they're getting upset, I say, whoa, whoa, it seems like this, this struck a nerve. Is there a reason why? Ask them why they're they're kind of getting excited or, or intense about it, but do it genuinely. You see, in my opinion, the, the key to having a good conversation with somebody is to actually be interested in the person, not not a feigned interest or you're not just concerned about getting facts in their head or or winning an argument, but you're actually interested in their position. You want to hear them out. So become interested in the person. Ask questions. Hey, last time we had this discussion, it, it kind of ended badly on a, a, like. It seemed, I just felt a little angst by it. And I just want to clear that up. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. It's a hard issue. But I was wondering, maybe you could explore and explain to me a little bit more what 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 you believe and why you believe it. You see, those are the first two Columbo questions. Um, it's a great way to kind of take the pressure off and just say, hey, I just want to have a conversation and, and I want to learn what you think to be true and why you think that. Because, uh, because I'm interested in you and I care about you. You know, um, as far as arguments go, I, I, I think always coming back, you know, what is the unborn, right? Very, very, very important. What is the unborn? Because oftentimes, like even my friend, who's, who's a really smart guy, he's a really great guy too. Nice guy. Uh, he says, you know, it, 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 the fetus range is from a clump of cells to uh, a, a baby or I forget, or a, a, an unborn baby, I think was his words. Well, an unborn baby is just a clump of cells too, right? But the life begins, right? So so it's a good opportunity for us to help educate people too. So oftentimes the people who get upset, like your friend, they just might not know the, the facts of, of embryology and biology. Maybe I'm not saying that to be, um, it's not like pejorative or it's not, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying that to be mean spirited or anything or, or hoity. I'm just saying, you know, oftentimes I didn't, when I was, when I was a uh, pro-abortion, I used to be pro-abortion. Uh, I didn't necessarily know the facts. I would have said, no, 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 no. It's just a clump of cells. It's not a living organism. Or I, I would have said, well, there's living organisms in your spit. Like, should we not kill those either? Like, should you not step on any spit on the side? Because those are human cells, you know, and, and I didn't understand the difference. You know, that's actually a unique human being that's, that's growing. And, and that's, that's, uh, that's science. Uh, when that's oftentimes why, why people bring up the bodily autonomy argument, because they grant, they have to grant that this is a unique human being. So what other argument can they, oh, well, who cares? And then they have to, then you can go in there with sled, you know, then that's Klusendorf. So still answering this question, easy for you to say, you know, um, you know, uh, what, at what point does that living organism, that human that's growing inside of you or inside of the mother have value and worth and, and say, well, you know, size, level of development, environment, uh, degree of dependency, right? That's sled. None of those things lend value to the human being um, for obvious reasons, right? We're all different sizes. We're all, we're all in different environments. We, um, we, we're all in different stages in life and levels of development. You know, um, where, you know, we all have different dependencies. A, a newborn baby is, is less dependent. I mean, it's more dependent on their mother than, than I am certainly. Right. So these things are just important to get to know. And um, I find the best way if somebody's being hostile, uh, move on from the conversation at that moment, maybe not from the person totally, but calm things down, you know, just stay. Hey, it's not because, because if they get upset, if they're getting upset, you're not going to win. And then nobody really wins. 